My name is Dominic Reisig. I'm an associate professor and extension specialist. We're out here at some of the, the research plots. So probably the most important thing you can do right now is to figure out if you have any pests in the field and definitely correctly identify them. So there's no need to buy an insecticide and spray it if you don't have an insect there. And if you do have an insect there, you want to make sure that you make a correct identification because the wrong pesticide at worst is just going to cause you to spend money that you don't need to spend. We really recommend that you do scout those insects. It helps you know how many insects you have in the field, they're what our thresholds are based on. You're going to do a whole lot better knowing what's in your field than using calendar sprays. I did 15 sweeps and I see one, two corn earworm larvae. We have a threshold calculator online on the soybean portal. And there at the soybean portal, under that tab where it says insect pest management, you can go into a link that says thresholds. And you can calculate the row spacing you have, the cost to control, to buy the product, and figure out what, what threshold you might want to use. I would say we're probably pretty close to treatment threshold based on the sampling we've been doing in this field. If you know how many pests are there, you know the economic loss that they're causing, and you're going to be able to find that break-even point where the cost of the insecticide and in spraying it is equal to the cost of doing nothing.